All right. No more cliffhanger. As Rafa gets ready to enter the next room, uh, it's time for an epic battle. And following on that, more exploration. If he survives, that is. Uh, welcome back, everyone. This is part two of Floor 4 of Rafa's Journey. I'm Loki Oren, and without further ado, let's get into the action. Six by five with two exits. All right, well... So first of all, we'll go over to one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, so it's only five up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we are sort of out of space here. So we are just going to do a single exit. We can't, uh, can't fit the other one in. But that's okay because we have uh, quite expanded this dungeon, which you got to like. Two by five, you say. Oh, an under troll's lair. Large stones have been stacked, forming an internal chamber with a gaping dark entrance. An under troll clambers free. You must fight it. If you survive, you find a chest inside. Roll on CT4. Oh boy. You know, what's, uh, what's a, a game of dungeon crawling without um, an encounter with a troll? So we'll uh, get our... Uh... Oh, the doors are wooden out of here and finally we're fighting a level four enemy here and i will let's get the thing i'm pulling up the uh, card here did i ever make an under troll token no but what d and what kind of dungeon master would i be if i didn't have a troll token uh this guy looks pretty dope but this is just the classic dnd troll we'll go with this guy yeah we'll go with this guy under troll 40 x 40 hp this is a big old boy we'll actually make it a little bit better we'll make him big so the under troll emerges rafa readies his mace combat start uh, and this is this is going to be a tough fight but i think we can do it all right so as rafa as rafa sees this troll coming out we are going to throw a throwing axe. And we're going to go ahead and throw one of our throwing axe plus threes at him. So throwing axe plus three. And since I've, I don't think I've ever actually done one of these on camera. So we're going to quickly, uh, I'm going to quickly jump over to the uh, throwing weapons section just to make sure I do it right the first time. Uh, yep, throwing weapons. You can throw one throwing weapon to start a combat. This does this does not replace the attack. You still attack first. So you always throwing weapons always hit successfully, but they may not always cause damage. So we roll two d six. We roll five by two. Wow, that's an exact strike. So five by two. Trolls mitigate tough skin on secondaries ones, twos, threes, fours, and sixes. For minus one damage. That's too bad. So he does mitigate a point of damage. So we hit him for eight. The throwing axe sinks into the flesh. Uh, sinks into the flesh. Uh, but as it as the you know as it lands, the troll grabs it pulls it out and throws it to the side and the axe clatters against the wall breaking uh because he interrupted it we don't uh we don't get the axe back but that's okay because eight damage was definitely a good start to this fight so rafa readies his mace and charges one by six one by six can't become anything it's so close to blindside stroke but we don't have shift three yet so uh, we, our, our blow glances off of its tough hide. The troll replies. Two by three becomes two by two. So we do take a mighty fist to the face. Um, and we don't mitigate this. So we're just taking this to the chin here. Seven damage. Ouchie. Wow. -wa. This cracking blow as Rafa takes, takes it on the chin. But we're still up. Round six, we critically miss, okay? Uh, the troll replies, 
six by one he can't do anything with that so rafa swings again unbalanced and goes you know almost goes prone and the troll's counter attack just goes right over his head the two creatures uh you know the, the troll kind of not anticipating us screwing up like that two by five oh that might be good two by five becomes three by five for our first hit with blindside stroke three by five or um for d6 plus four right let me double check yep three d6 plus four so we hit with the blindside stroke and tough skin on ones twos threes four secondary ones twos threes fours and sixes um so yeah blindside stroke strikes for nine damage we crack in hurting this troll something fierce the troll will roar and swing back at us uh four by six he can't do anything with that he needs yeah he needs six by five he can't do anything with that this round round four shift plus one so rafa ducking and weaving continuing to uh continuing to stay on his feet uh two by three with shift three becomes three by five again so we smack him again another blindside strike just bashing this thing down uh it's gonna reply one by two becomes two by two it does manage to punch us in the face for uh another five i imagine rafa like goes skidding back um and has to kind of reset himself round five shift plus two uh five by six with shift four um down one down two yeah we can still we can make three by five again god this skill is blindside stroke is hitting in this huge blow the smacking blow as we as we hit the under troll down into range where it's uh it's vulnerable to death here however the troll is going to get to reply and it is at shift four as well um can it do anything with that it can make mighty fist can it make rock throw no it needs it needs four shift just to get the uh just to get the uh the six together so yeah it'll punch us again for another two rafa's taken some hits but we are we are feeling good here we see a weakness we see a moment we swing uh that definitely makes that definitely makes three by five yeah that easily makes three by five and this will kill it yeah with a final devastating blow rafa knocks this troll down and brains the thing and it is very dead and as the troll falls rafa gets 250 xp and that was this was what i was talking about uh previous sessions where we weren't fighting any of the like really uh dangerous stuff uh because this stuff like drops a lot of xp or it, the scaling xp is starting to happen we also get a bunch of loot we get a bt1 plus three a bt2 plus three and then the ct4 roll from the room uh so let's do the let's do what's on the the uh the trolls uh loot table first this is bag table so bag table one plus three seven that was a bad roll at the bottom of the bag wrapped carefully in leather is some cheese okay <laughs> just find us uh, some poor some poor adventurer um you know got eaten and his uh his food was just left left to rot it's still uh it's still good though did i type hang on under troll is it really plus three again it is bt2 plus three nice okay let me double check one more time make sure i'm not reading the wrong thing bt1 plus three bt2 plus three okay Whew. trolls are good loot nine wow two kind of mediocre rolls there you tip out a collection of objects including a purse that has 2d6 plus 15 silver coins 20 silver coins and a bracelet worth d6 plus 15 gold coins all righty 
Uh, so we'll pop a bracelet. So a bracelet with a few little gems on it worth 18 gold coins and 20 silver coins in spare coinage. Can't feel bad about that. No, not, not a super impressive amount of loot from that, but that's not really what we're excited about. We're excited about this thing. All right, the CT4 table. All right, big money, no whammies. Everyone manifest. There are some really good loots on here if we roll high. Bah! Bah! Big sad. In amongst some white feathers is half a copper pendant worth 2d6 silver coins. 10 silver coins. Okay, at least it's worth something. <gasps> we have another half of a copper pendant. Half a copper pendant. 10 silver coins. So I'm just going to highlight that on my character sheet because we can combine that. So we get the other half of a comp copper pendant and then half of a gold symbol worth 2d6. Oh my gosh, we actually have both of these items. Seven gold coins. Because we have a gold symbol worth uh, 13. Okay, so that's that's really good. I've, I don't know that I've ever actually had symbols combined. We'll resolve that later because it doesn't matter until we go back to town. But that's two big finds there. Even though it was a pretty mediocre roll. Because I believe we get to combine them and then triple the value. So that was pretty gosh darn sweet. The door is not locked, thankfully. So as we pass by the under troll's lair, the troll's body lying broken... Rafa considers healing for a moment, but he's pretty good. I think we're I think we're good here. Um, so yeah, we'll pass through the door and continue. It seems like we're we're approaching the penultimate rooms here. We're encountering um, dangerous things. Three by five. Okay, that seems that seems reasonable. Uh, one, two. One, two, three. And what we'll do, actually, because we're supposed to have two exits here and we can only really fit one, what we'll do is we'll put the other one right there. And we'll say that this connects into that corridor. Which, is, which I am allowed to do and it does make for nicer uh, dungeoning. Here we go. Oh, stop it. Okay. So Rafa makes his way into this room. He sees the co uh, secret passage connecting connecting this corridor to another. Three by four, you say. Three by four. Level four rooms. Yep. This is a wrecked space. Three stone tombs have been smashed to pieces here. Chunks of stone litter the floor. You stumble through the room. Make a precision PC8 uh, check or lose 3 HP. And the doors out of here are random. So let's resolve the... Uh, we'll resolve the doors first. Uh, three by one. Reinforced doors. Oh, no. That's... Uh... Well, that's actually, it's not that big of a deal. It can be a big deal, but... And then we usually do this for reinforced. There we go. And we'll check if they're locked. They are not locked, which is good for us. Okay, then we go back to uh, our table here. We stumble through the room, we make a precision check. So this is, uh, basically it's 2d6 plus our uh, precision, which is two. We need to roll an eight or better, which we crush. You stumble through the room, make a precision check, or lose 3 HP, and then we get an IAUT1 roll. But before we do that, let me just quickly mark uh, a wrecked space. It's not unique, so we just make a note. Um, oh, is the Under Trolls Lair unique? The Under Trolls Lair is unique. Forgot to write that down. Under Trolls Lair. Cool. Oh, why did you shift to black? A wrecked 
space. There we go. There we go. Cool. All right, and finally, we get to roll on an interruptions and unexpected table since we're in this wrecked space. Two by four. Two by four. The remains of a coffin have been pushed to one side. It's been smashed. The wood appears to be damp, um, though, and something is growing here. D6, fight a thing, or find some glue. We find, we find some sticky glue-like substance, which I don't really have a good container for. So I'll just note down, sticky glue-like substance. Substance. Yeah, so there's this like, you know, this sticky glue-like substance that's pour yeah, that's uh, dripping out of this crate. We don't really have a or this coffin. We don't really have an empty container to use it. So I think we just hold it for now or we just leave it there for now. Yeah, it seems good. Okay. Well, this 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 angle has been treating us quite well, so let's actually just uh Pop this stuff onto the layer and keep going as we uh, keep progressing here. Two by one to a dead end. All right, optional tables, dead end table. I think the dead end, the dead dead end event is only if the table is long. Yeah, it's only if it's like long. Um, so yeah, we just two by one. So it literally goes out like here, here, dead ends. No exits. Rafa shrugs, seeing that he's sort of completed this side. We'll go down, down to here and see what we can find. <coughs> Five by two with no exits. That's convenient. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Yeah, that actually works. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. There we go. Because this, this one can go down into this space. This actually works. And let's encounter the room. Six by four. Six by four. Scratched words. There are words scratched all over the walls. And as you look, the words fear me appear. A rock flies from the shadows. Roll d6 plus discipline, which is 2 for us currently. On a 4, lower it hits and lose 2 HP. Yep, easy. A rock comes flying out of uh, the shadows. But Rafa ducks behind his shield. It pings off, but when he looks up ready to fight, there's nobody there. Scratched words is, is in fact... Um... Oh, oops, that's not what I wanted. I want this on blue. I want text scratched words okay another another completed room and one that didn't give us a lot we we had this really exciting fight with the under troll and then <laughs> nothing well let's, let's let's keep going Rafa continues to push we're feeling feeling good here two by five with a single exit okay we can definitely fit that so it's one two here uh, one two three four five there we go. And let's encounter the room. Three by one, you say. Freezing chamber. The, sarco the sarcophagus here is fully, fully solid. Ice coating the stone tomb. Icicles hang from the ceiling. You can chip away at it. Inside, a ferratavia awaits. If you survive, roll on. Well... Rafa has had pretty good luck. Um, Rafa, Rafa has had pretty good luck uh, fighting things and looting sarcophagi. So yeah, we're gonna uh, we're definitely gonna fight this thing. The Ferratavia, though, I've never actually fought the Ferratavia before, so I don't have a token for it. So we'll quickly uh, make a token here. Actually, do I do I have a token I can use for this? I'm just looking at I'm looking at the token I'm grabbing and like oh this will work ravenous zombie yeah this will work that'll work that'll work nicely actually 
All right, let's meet our new contestant. The Feritavia are warped humans who have been drained of life through infernal worship. Yet they return to inhabit their bodies and are now anima animalian, bestial, and hungry for blood. So actually, um, actually, better, better idea. Vampire spawn, that's what this actually is. Yeah, this that looks even better, actually. Vampire spawn. Fara Viata. Oh, it's, I'm sorry, I've been saying Feratavia. It's a Fara Viata. I believe is how that should be pronounced. Fara Viata? Yeah. Either way, 21 HP for uh, 120 XP here. So it's about half as tough as the uh, Under Troll. Um, and as Rafa sees it, you know what? Let's uh, let's spend our other throwing axe here. We'll just do the normal one this time because we want to keep the other magic one. Second, sudden swoop, secondary ones and threes. So this axe is lost as well, but it does sink in for um, four damage. Chipping away just a bit of damage as we throw another axe. And then Rafa charges forward. Round one. Fight. One by four. Can't become anything. Miss. The, f the f Faraviata. I'm going to keep saying it different ways. The Faraviata will swing back. <coughs> one by four. It can't do anything. And we glances off of our shield. Round two. Oh. Oh, maybe? Yes! Exact strike. D6 plus 4 plus 2 for our shift. Crack it for 12 damage. This crippling, crunching blow as we strike this thing. And it will reply in turn. Sorry, I was looking at a separate table to see if the, there was something that applies, but nope. Uh, but it cracks back with its freezing claws, which are two by one, which I'm pretty sure our armor does not do anything for. Yep, we don't mitigate on twos or ones. It gets us for three. And ouch. But round three, seeing this thing flag, seeing it, uh, seeing it weaken. Rafa strikes again. And crushes its skull with his mace. The freezing ghostly shell dies. 120 XP for our trouble. Plus BST2. Plus 2. And a... Um, what was the other roll? It was... Um, SL, yeah, it's sarco sarcophagus loot table. There we go. So that's what we earn. And again, like just like the under troll, very a much more dangerous fight. But if you survive, we're starting to get some real, uh, real gains here, real gains in XP. And let's roll, uh, let's roll our loot. Uh, we'll do, we'll do the body search table first. Two plus two. Eight. Around the creature's forearm is a silver bracelet worth three D6 silver coins. And it has two medium quality rubies set into it. So that is um so that is a brace bracelet worth six silver coins with two medium quality rubies and the reason that rel is relevant is that oh shoot ah no stop go away people are gonna know i'm on discord ah <laughs> anyway uh the uh, the reason that matters is that medium value medium quality rubies are worth 24 gold coins each so <laughs> that bracelet is worth diddly squat uh but that um but that uh, those rubies are definitely worth something. All right, so that was that, and then we roll on uh, sarcophagus loot table two. This is just a flat two d six for a nine. <gasps> Ooh, let me just confirm that I'm rolling on the right table. SLT two. SLT two. 
Nice. Lying amongst bones and splinters is a rune stone. Roll on rune one. This is exciting. Um, so rune stones are basically the magic items in this setting. It's how we get magical items. Um, other unless we find them, but this is how we can basically make them. So getting a rune roll is real good. I just need to find where the table lives. Uh, rune, 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 rune. Oh, page twenty-eight. You say? Oh, it's oh, it's. I mean, I'm looking in the wrong whole section. Rune pile. And sorry, now I need. To, I'm getting, get myself. I'm flustered here because I'm so excited. Rune, rune one. Runes are really good. All right, there's only a d6 roll, so three. We find Bell's Sonic Rune. Once per combat, you may use one of your weapons maneuver dice sets as armor with a minus five damage modifier as you send out a sonic blast deflecting the blow. This is used after the attack is rolled. So we will add that to our uh, uh, list. We'll mark it not applied. Bell's Sonic Rune. One per combat. Uh, use weapon attack as armor. Minus five damage. So we do have to apply those or we can sell it for 50 gold but that's quite a that's quite a nice pickup for us so thank you very much uh, uh faraviata for uh dying in a way that was convenient to me the freezing chamber is not unique interestingly enough so we will pop that in and the freezing chamber has reinforced doors going out. Are they locked? They are not locked. Which is good for us because we are uh, we are having a lot of trouble with uh, locked doors. Or we had a lot of trouble with locked doors. We've thankfully kind of overcome them. There we go. And now we uh, get our get our hustle back on. And what happens next? And that's another one in the books. Thank you all for watching. You know, you know the drill, the like, comment, subscribes. It's all about that algorithm and letting letting the, it know that I make content that you and people like you like to watch. Uh, that was a fun episode. Uh, we're definitely uh, getting back into the groove of things. And in the next one, uh, <laughs> there's a bit of a mistake. So uh, hope, hope you'll tune in to see and uh, share a good laugh with me as, uh, you know, Things go a little sideways, but for once in a good way. But that's for next time. Till then, see ya.